Hi there, Mr. C here, and I'm ready for a wits lesson. I've got my wits wristband on and my wits badge, and today's story for wits is called Mookie the Monkey Gets Over Being Teased. Remember, wits stands for walk away, ignore, talk it out, or seek help. In the story of Mookie the Monkey Gets Over Being Teased, Mookie is not a typical monkey because he's hairless. One day, while walking home, Mookie learns some valuable strategies from wise adults who help him deal with classmates who tease him. Has anyone ever seen a monkey before? What did it look like? Look at the cover of the book. What is different about Mookie? Mookie the Monkey Gets Over Being Teased by Heather Longsack Once upon a time, in a faraway jungle, a tiny monkey was born without a single hair on his body. No fur, no fleece, not even fuzz. His parents named their beloved baby monkey, Mookie. They found his soft alabaster skin beautiful. His aunties and uncles and cousins took turns caressing his silky head, and his nana knitted cozy sweaters to keep him warm in the winter. As Mookie grew, he stayed as hairless as the day he was born. I'm as smooth as a banana, he said with pride. He loved the colorful clothes he wore to keep warm in the winter and to avoid sunburn in the summer. On his first day of school, Mookie picked out his favorite jungle outfit. His parents gave him a big book bag. His nana gave him new shoes for his smooth feet. Everyone kissed Mookie's sweet pink cheeks and wished him a great day. But things didn't work out so well. Mookie's classmates had never seen a hairless monkey. They didn't know what to think. Some were not very nice. On Monday, Morton Mongoose called him Baldy. On Tuesday, Tristan Tiger just stared. On Wednesday, Wilhelmina Warthog pointed and giggled. Every day they teased Mookie, and soon he stopped loving the very thing he once loved most about himself. Why do I have to be different, he thought. It's not fair. And then he had an idea. Why do you think Mookie's classmates tease him? At Crocodile Clyde's costume shop, Mookie found what he was looking for. The next morning he arrived at school, as furry as everyone else. But soon it didn't seem like such a good idea. This is hotter than a polar bear coat. Gluing fur clippings from Beatrice Baboon's beauty boutique didn't work either. At Paulina Porcupine's Potions, Mookie bought a bottle of Potion Number 114, which Paulina said would help grow hair. The next morning, he rubbed it on his skin, and soon his skin started to tingle. Something is growing, he rejoiced. But it wasn't hair. Nothing works, grumbled Mookie. Woohoo! I've been watching you, Mookie said Oslo Owl. You can't solve your problems by changing who you are on the outside, and you can't change others. But you can change what you do when someone teases you. How? asked Mookie. You are surrounded by wisdom and experience, Oslo hooted, but said nothing more. What does he mean? Mookie asked Horatio Hyena. I think he means your friends can help, said Horatio. So Mookie told Horatio about his problems. When folks give me the business, said Horatio, I just make a joke. It's hard for others to laugh at you when you're already laughing. Is that so, said Mookie? I know some funny jokes, and I like to laugh. 
Mookie thanked Horatio and went on his way. Hello, Mookie called up to Genevieve Giraffe. May I ask your advice? Genevieve listened to Mookie's story. When I was your age, she said, kids called me Stretch. But one summer there was a drought, and the only food was too high in the trees for anyone to reach. Anyone except me, that is. So I shook down all the bananas and coconuts. Then I felt good about my long neck, and when I did, so did everyone else. That helped me ignore kids when they teased me. Hmm, thought Mookie out loud. My sleek skin helps me swim fast. I feel good about that. That could surely come in handy some day, she said. Mookie thanked her and went on his way. Sigmund Sloth dangled sleepily overhead. Oh, what's up, he yawned. Mookie told him his story. I have especially long toes, said Sigmund. Sometimes Winky Wolfhound gives me a hard time about it. But I just take a deep breath and relax and go back to my nap. He always finds that boring, so he leaves me alone. Apparently, teasing Howie Howler Monkey is more fun. Hmm, said Mookie. I do get upset when they tease me. I'll try breathing and walking away instead. Mookie turned to thank Sigmund, but he was already asleep. Mookie caught up with Giselle Gazelle, the mail carrier. There have always been creatures in this village who are unkind to gazelles. I've accepted that, she said, after hearing Mookie's story. I spend time with Zoe Zebra and Abraham Antelope. They are nice. I try to avoid the others. Hmm, Otis Orangutan has always been friendly, said Mookie. But he said it to the air, because Giselle was already well on her way. Mookie swung home to his parents. It's not easy being teased, he told them. But everyone I talked to had a good idea. We're so sorry for what you've been going through, said his mom, but we're very proud of you for asking for help, said his pop. Why do kids tease each other? Mookie wanted to know. Maybe so they can feel better about themselves, said his mom. Maybe because they feel uncomfortable when someone is different, said his pop. It's not about you, they said. It's more about them. Back at school, Mookie had lots of new tools to help him deal with being teased. He felt like he was wearing a suit of armor over his smooth skin, just like Artie Armadillo. Over time, Mookie tried all of his friends' ideas. Some kids became bored, some thought Mookie was funny, and some saw him in a brand new light. Of course, Mookie still got teased from time to time, but it didn't bother him like it used to. Sometimes he even took it as a compliment. That's right, he would say proudly. I am a hairless monkey. Thank you for noticing. Does Mookie's family see Mookie as different or strange because he is hairless? Why do you think that is? Have you ever been teased before? How did it feel? Why do children tease each other? Sometimes children are trying to be funny. Sometimes they're being mean. Sometimes they're uncomfortable when someone is different and they don't know how to include them. What does Mookie do to try and stop the teasing? He tries to grow hair. He wears a monkey costume. He glues fur clippings to himself. He buys a hair growing potion. Mookie gets some good advice from his jungle adult friends about what to do the next time he gets teased at school. Do you remember what they tell him? 
They tell him, use humor. Look for what is positive about being hairless. Take some deep breaths and walk away. Spend time with those who care about you. What was Mookie good at doing because of his exceptional appearance? But he was good at swimming. The next day, when Mookie returns to school, the author says that he felt like he was wearing a suit of armor. What do you think is meant by that? Okay, it's time to answer some wits questions about the storybook. Well, that's the story of Mookie the monkey gets over being teased. Now, here's some activities you can do to fill in some extra time. Name all of the various animals mentioned and then draw them in a book. Do you remember them all? Monkey, mongoose, tiger, warthog, crocodile, polar bear, snake, baboon, porcupine, owl, hyena, giraffe, wolfhound, gazelle, zebra, antelope, orangutan, armadillo, and elephant. What advice would you give to Mookie? Maybe write some down. Draw your favorite animal. You can draw them and then fill in speech bubbles to describe the advice that your favorite animal would offer to Mookie. Draw a picture of your favorite coping technique from the story for dealing with being teased. Maybe draw seeking help from an adult or making a joke or taking deep breaths and walking away. Put together a small skit with your parents. Demonstrate some positive responses to being teased. Maybe you could do a little skit on ignoring the teasing or talking it out or seeking help. Have fun with it. Thanks for joining me with this Wits book.